So the work is to support communities to come together to learn from each other, what we call a community of practice, to share innovation and how they're delivering uh, HIV services in the most innovative and effective way, but to link those innovations, those local innovations, to policy making structures in the formal health sector, literally up to heads of state. So you're connecting from village level or community uh, of sex workers directly to a head of state uh, through governors or other mechanisms, so that that innovation and delivery can drive changes in policy for more effective work, um, which is a vision I think you would have uh, been very excited about. Um, and it's working extraordinarily well uh, in a couple of countries where we're focused on, Kenya, Eswatini, uh, and uh, Malawi. We're at a standstill in the fight against HIV. We've done very well in scaling up treatment. Uh, tens of millions of people are alive who wouldn't have been otherwise, which is incredibly exciting. And some success has been achieved in decreases in new infection, but the panacea of just rolling out antiretroviral therapy and that leading to a uh, a uh, lot decrease in new infections hasn't worked. Um, and in fact, in five studies now, there's virtually no impact on new infections, even when you reach very high coverage rates. The reason for that, we believe, is the most likely to become infected, uh, and the most, the people who are infected uh, and at very high rate of transmitting are not accessing services. They're the people we lose. And so we need new approaches to involve and support young people to seek health services, and it's not going to be through a clinic or a formal HIV program. And so the whole approach is to engage and listen, um, understand the community, uh, and AIGHD actually has quite a deep depth in anthropology and applied anthropology, um, also using human-centered design. Um, and instead of what we've been doing, which is going to young people or boda boda boys who drive the, the motor scooters around or fisher folk and say, you're the problem, this is what you're going to do, where is health professionals are telling you, we listen to what their issues are, what types of programs would they respond to. Yup Long is one of the great heroes of HIV, he was a, he was a good friend, um, as I always say, is my favorite person to argue with. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't get to know Jacqueline well, but um, just being part of his legacy uh, is hugely important. I would also say just being involved with an institution in Europe, uh, which links with my institution in the United States. Uh, but the, the, uh, the Netherlands has been a leader in the response to global HIV for a long time, from the scientific side, from the research side, from the implementation side, and from the financing side, and always in the innovative space. How do we innovate? How do we do things better? And so this, this base here uh, in, in Holland, as well as the link to Yublong, uh, is very important, at least to me personally. But it also brings a different perspective. It brings a different knowledge base, it, and linking institutions always makes things stronger. And um, so by bringing different institutions together with different expertise and, and power, we have no anthropologic base at Georgetown, for example. We can do a better job to support countries to achieve their objectives. And uh, that power of working together, that power of linking um, to support and serve others is hugely important. We're going in the wrong direction globally in my view. We're separating people instead of bringing them together. We won't solve problems by separating people. We will only solve problems by coming together. And so linking institutions, linking expertise, uh, and I would say also this place, uh, not only Blind Institute, but AIGHD, has a strong sense of service and that we are there for others. We're not there because we have expertise they don't. We're there because we're servants of others. Uh, bringing that type of culture together is very important. The resources are very circumscribed and so responding to a person and a person's needs is very difficult in the current structure. But bringing, again, by coming together, by bringing people with different expertise, different disciplines, different approaches, listening to human beings, responding to human beings, uh, we can overcome those challenges. If we can link all of that together, we can solve any problem.